Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, and um, got something interesting to show you here, and I've got the perfect vehicle to show it to you with. Um, this is the Dodge uh, Durango SRT, which has a 475 horsepower V8. Um, but what's really interesting is how little horsepower you actually need uh, to get going and maintain speed. And I'm going to actually show you that if you can see the instrument cluster of the car here. Uh, it has a horsepower gauge that tells you in real time how much power the engine is producing to maintain a given road speed. And as we ascend, I'm on the Blue Ridge Parkway and we're going to be uh, ascending from roughly about 1,200 feet to about 3,200 feet, uh, you'll see how relatively little power is necessary to haul this pretty large and heavy vehicle up the mountain. Right now, uh, it's, uh, let's see, we're at 30, 40, 42 horsepower. Now we're ascending a grade that's probably about a, probably about a 5% grade. And as you can see on the dial, we're only using about 50, 60 horsepower. And the vehicle has got no problems at all maintaining its speed. Now to put that in perspective, uh, 50, 60 horsepower uh, is not far removed from what an air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle engine made back in the 70s, uh, and it's a whole lot less horsepower than is locked up inside that 6.4 liter V8 that's under the hood of this thing. Now, if you want to get to 60 in about four seconds, you'll need the 475 horsepower, but in order to get cruising down the road, you really don't need that much. Um, it's just an interesting thing I thought you'd like to see a demonstration of. People sometimes, I think, don't understand how little power uh, a vehicle actually needs um, to move. And once it's moving, once inertia is operating in your favor, uh, it needs even less power. Now, as we're going up the hill here, again, we're using about 70 horsepower uh, out of the 475. But if I were on the, uh, the, the, the flat and level and just cruising along, uh, with the uh, advantage of the gearing and the overdrive transmission and uh, the general low friction and uh, decent aerodynamics of even something like this, uh, most new vehicles are pretty aerodynamic, uh, you would be able to see that maintaining, say, 60 or 70 miles an hour in a vehicle like this only takes about 25 or 30 horsepower, which is kind of striking. Uh, you use most of the power and burn most of your fuel accelerating the vehicle from a dead stop and also uh, when you need rapido acceleration as when passing a clover or if you just want to haul the mail uh, as I'm going to uh, partake of repeatedly during the week that I have this SRT uh, 8 uh, Durango to play with. Anyway, just thought you would enjoy that. Uh, more up at epautos.com, the web's best libertarian gearhead site. And I should have a, uh, an in-depth write-up of uh, this fantastic Dodge Durango um, up on the site sometime by the weekend. So thanks for viewing, and we'll catch up with you again soon.